We are starting off the year reading Unga Bunga, where Daniel gets his baby sister Louise to stop crying by saying silly things to her like Unga Bunga, and later in the book he says Bunka Wunka. So the sound that we're going to focus on for this week is the G sound. And as you can see in the picture, we make the G sound. It's the frog that's eating the bug, and so he goes G, G, G. One of the cues that you can give your children is kind of tapping your throat, because G is a sound that we make more towards the back of the mouth, and a lot of times kids will say more of a D sound instead of that G sound. So try to get that sound way in the back of the throat. If your child can't do it, go ahead and just model for them. It's okay if they just listen at this point if they're not ready to make that sound on their own. Here are some words that you can practice at home. You can talk about we're going to the store, we're going to school, or can you go get something for me? and really emphasize those sounds and even point to your throat as you're saying those. You can also do a final G sound, talking about things that are big or even having your child give you a hug. So we're gonna focus on G for this week.